This season of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by Four Seasons Lanai. Aloha, I'm Lanai, and welcome to another edition of Cooking Hawaiian Style right here on the beautiful Four Seasons Resort on Lanai. Don't forget to pick up our DVDs on our website at cookinghawaiianstyle.com. Also, have our cookbook number one still available. You can also get it at amazon.com. And don't forget to pick up Cooking Hawaiian Style 2. It's available for you right now. Pick one up. We got a great show for you today. Jen Boniza from OC16 will be joining us right here on Cooking Hawaiian Style. So let's get cooking. When you live in on the island, such a diverse Hawaii. When you tasted all the flavors from the mountain to the sea, we're cooking Hawaiian style. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jan Boniza. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having me. I finally got you. You're so busy. You're doing so many things. Well, you know, girls got to make a living. So. <laughs> Tell <laughs> us, uh, uh, what kind of, how many shows you have now? Are you hosting? I'm hosting Hawaiian Extreme Sports uh -huh. outside Hawaii. I'm also producing all the things we are for OC16 and uh -huh. then sideline reporting right. for OC16. So, you know. I Isn't love watching busy. you on the sidelines of the foot, watch, especially football. Oh, thank you. Because everyone's like seven foot tall. They look like it anyway, and you're about three foot eleven. I knew. Well, come on, I'm five <laughs> she, foot two. She's taller in person. <laughs> all right. And I have my heels on, so yeah. I can, you know, stand side by side with them. Did you always <laughs> know you were going to do this TV stuff? You know, I always was pretty comfortable in front of a camera, uh -huh. so. You know, just kind of came natural. That's I good. Guess. Good for you. And nothing scripted, is it, for you on the football, on the well, sideline? Well, you know, I do interview the coaches. Uh -huh. I get my kind of stories that I'm going to report on, make myself my little notes. Yeah. But it's it's all live. Right. You know, what, what you say, you say. Sometimes you stumble. Right. But the show must go on. Well, you're doing an excellent job doing it. Well, thank you. You're, al you're also it. producing now? I'm producing. I just started producing some of our live sports. Uh -huh. You might see me during the volleyball games. Good so, job. you know, venturing to other areas. Did I'm you play any of those? sports? No, I wasn't very good at sports. <laughs> That's all right, nobody I knows. I was a dancer. Hey, yeah? they're athletes too. Yes, they are. They're athletes and, too. And now we're going to see you cook. Yes. Okay. Do you always cook? I do not always cook, okay. but I am preparing my Grandma Joyce's Chicken Divine recipe. This is something I've been making since I was 18. It nice. was one of my favorites from her. She's been doing it for a couple years now. Just just one or two. Just Thank one or two you, Grandma years. Joyce. And what is this called? <laughs> um, it is Chicken Divine. Oh, how and divine is that? It is, oh my God, it's comfort food. This is really good stuff. I do cook this particular recipe uh -huh. a lot for my kids. They love it. I love it. It's got a little bit of everything in there. You know, you can kind of hide the taste of the broccoli with the sauce <laughs> that's kind of rich and creamy uh -huh. so yeah it's good okay so let's get started what do we need here okay well first you need some fresh chicken breast okay. uh, we've already kind of prepared that you boil it for about 20 minutes to okay. a half an hour and then you pull it apart so we can start doing yeah, a little bit do, of that yeah, go do a, start doing and a I mean I'm kind of local style so I do a lot of stuff with my fingers I'm not and we did wash our hands yes, before we started yes okay? we did you know and I got my nails done special You're... for this because I knew you guys would be looking at my <laughs> fingers because they're usually not this pretty. No, they are. So, <laughs> so this show really is about local people and, and, and celebrities and chefs cooking local comfort food and this might not look like it's from Hawaii uh, but you know because of all the different ethnicities we have here of yeah. course you're going to have all these different types of influences. Yeah, um, you know I don't know where this recipe came from yeah. except for that my grandma used to always make this. She's pure Portuguese. Yeah. You know she actually passed a few years ago so she would be very happy. I wish she oh, was yes. here okay. to do you need, see me do doing I need this. To give you this bowl here? Are you um, going to put this together? You no. know, I think I'm going to add that to the rest okay. that's already shredded there. All right. And you know, this is fun because I can get my kids in the kitchen too with yeah. the shredding part once the chicken is cooled down. How many kids do you have? I've got two boys. They're yeah. 11 and 13 now. Are so they playing football? They are not playing football. One's a swimmer, one does karate. Uh -huh. So, you know, 
So you won't sports. be reporting on them anytime soon? Uh, no, probably some of their friends. Yeah. You know, their friends play football and baseball. Just not what my boys were into. Yeah. You that's, know? that's all right. Yeah. That's all right. You can uh, go go uh, to the pool more often now. Yeah, exactly. Got to let them do what they're right, so you, into. You're just going to shred it. How many chicken breasts? Um, you usually use about six pieces, depending on the size of them. You want some good sized ones, yeah. um, depending on the size of your, you know, your casserole. I usually cook it in a 13 by 9 baking pan, but we've got to make pretty, pretty kind yeah, today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and can you use turkey? Um, you know, I'm sure you can substitute for turkey. Yeah. I've never actually tried you know, to do uh, it. We're here on Lanai. There's so much wild turkey here. And I'm, I was thinking, we got to come up with some recipes for this turkey. So maybe you substitute turkey with this one. Yeah, if you're looking for a different option, I'm sure you could. No All reason right. why not. Okay, so, so we're that's gonna the shred first that. thing you do. All and right. then you also want to prepare your broccoli. Okay. So, um, you know, we usually use the frozen kind just because um, easier but for we're doing moms fresh that are busy. Today. But this is fresh. Yes. So you got to you know kind of prepare that no need the knife then <laughs> well you can use the knife but you know Lanai, i'm yeah. not like no, don't that worry. Do it however kind. you do it at home i'm better with i know when you cook you get all dressed parts. up like this too so don't worry about it <laughs> 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 all right when we come back we're going to put this all together and uh, we're going to figure out how to actually cook it so don't go anywhere jen boniza hanging out with us right here <laughs> on cooking hawaiian style <laughs> Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style here at the Four Seasons Resort. Uh, have you been to Lanai before? This is my first trip to really? Lanai, yes. we got to get la the football team on TV somehow. Oh, well, you know, one of these days, yeah. we are doing the X-Cast now, so we have a lot more options for traveling right. and stuff. Yeah. But let's get uh, mixing with this stuff. Please, so, the sauce. take control, Jen. <laughs> take control. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're making so chicken divine. Chicken divine. Yes. All right, so this is your cream of chicken soup. You usually use about two cans, and then this is curry. Let's I like a here. lot of curry okay so uh, this is two tablespoons it calls for one but again I like a lot of curry so I put a lot of curry okay all right and then you got some lemon juice here lemon juice how and, much lemon juice um usually use about one lemon and okay. then the mayonnaise bra this is like yeah. the magic sauce you that makes everything mayo. so good yes hello we're local you know we uh we locals like best foods but you know what I've been using a lot of what have you been Japanese using? Japanese kewpie really I've never oh, heard of that amazing yeah I'm a best foods I do yeah. gotta have the best yeah me foods. too I'm best foods so then and this is your sauce that you're gonna, you know, layer on top. And this is really the what makes it all rich and delicious. Was and that everything. a one cup you said? That was one cup of mayo, yes. Okay. And then pretty simple. Yeah, it, it really is, and that's why I can make it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's why it works for me. Okay. So once you've got that done, breadcrumbs. Now this is one of my favorite things. The recipe actually only costs um, calls for one piece of bread, uh -huh. but I like a lot of crunchies, so I use about three or four pieces of bread, and okay. then again. And pull apart with the fingers so you have no fear of cutting your finger or your kids can help you with this too. Really this easy This is scary. Kind of you stuff. should do your own cooking show. <laughs> Let's add it to the uh, four other shows that you do. Hey, I'll join you anytime. <laughs> <laughs> what high school did you go to? You know, I went to Kamehameha. Look so a lot of people think I'm from the mainland. Imua, I'm not Hawaii. In Imua, you speak very well. That's I'm, why. I'm local. But I bet I'm you if you were in the bathroom up at Kamehameha, the pigeon would just come out hey. and everybody would just... For, wow. well, you know, for TV, not so much, yeah. but um, for you everything else. You want to put that over here? Are we going to assemble here? Yeah, we're right, going to we'll assemble. Okay, right. so first up, we got to put our broccoli down. Okay. So we're it's already that. ready to go. So we just kind of dump it in there. You want to make sure that it's coated evenly, you know, that no no big pukas. You want to no try to have. No oil or anything? You don't need uh, it? You do. You want to try to, um, you know, spray a little bit so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Okay. But yeah, and then next is going to come our chicken. And sure. then Shred the chicken. The pulled apart chicken, shredded chicken, chopped up chicken, however you want to make it inside there. Are we going to preheat the oven? You are. You preheat the oven to 350. I got to do that now. Yes. Okay. 350. And how long sure. is it going to be in there? And this will be in there probably about a half an hour to 40 minutes, depending on your oven. Okay. Um, mine at home takes usually about a half an hour, but you can check it. You can usually tell. So if your oven is from the 80s, probably about two hours. <laughs> well, hopefully not. <laughs> and then next, you're going to take your yummy sauce, and then you're just going to pour it all Boy, over. Boy, this is sinful. It really is. It's, like I said, this is comfort food, and this yeah. is what what, you know, just reminds me of my grandma. I've got such great memories of all of us, you know, at the house in Kailua, sitting around after they were, you know, playing some cards yeah. uh, with all of the relatives and stuff, and then eating some of this and you tell know, a, hanging tell out. A, tell hanging us out. what's in that again. All right, so this is mayo, one cup mayo, 
two cans cream of chicken, okay. um, about a teaspoon or more of curry. You can go to taste, and then maybe uh, one fresh squeezed lemon. And then from here, you're going to go with your cheese. Okay. Now, the cheese is already grated. You can really use any kind of cheese you want. Recipe calls for sharp cheddar, and that's what this is. If you're on some kind of meal prep, like I follow everybody on Instagram for some reason, uh -huh. everyone's doing meal prep nowadays, yeah. this is the dish for you to do. Okay. Add two cups of mayo. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> but you actually usually use a lot more cheese in this. You want the whole top to be okay. covered with cheese there. Yeah, that's and good then, for meal prep. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last thing you're going to do, make sure you get all of the breadcrumbs. What are you doing there? I'm soaking the breadcrumbs in butter. Okay, she's so soaking it in, in butter. We're going to uh, put the rest of this together because yes. you're, you're taking too long. Oh, sorry. But that's okay. <laughs> well, she's doing it with love, all right? We'll be back. We'll put the rest of this chicken divine together with Jen Boniza right here on Cooking Hawaiian Style. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style here with Jen Boniza and we're making her uh, grandma's chicken divine. Yes, we're just finishing up the chicken divine. So the last step, of course, uh -huh. is putting the breadcrumbs on top of the chicken divine. Now these, when they come out, they'll bake nice and crispy and then you get that crunch on top. You, you soaked it in what, I olive oil? I soaked it in butter. Butter. Gotta have butter. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, this is not a healthy recipe, folks. <laughs> this is for taste and like, We're here to know, eat. Exactly. Yes. You know, I didn't get this figure for, you know, actually, yeah. I work out plenty because Dump the butter <laughs> on top of there. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah, go ahead. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah you go. No way. That doesn't no hurt wasting. anybody. All right. We put the oven at well, how much? Put the oven at 350 okay. and you stick it in there for about a half an hour. Half an hour? So we are all done with that. Okay. What else are we making and here? And now we are making our dessert. This is cream cheese yummies. This is a real simple recipe uh -huh. because I like simple. Okay. And so first up, we've got our cookies, the diamond bakery cookies. You can use vanilla wafers. You can use anything you want, really. Your cream cheese softens. So we're going to put that into there i got some i got your uh, your cupcake so i put a little cookie in each one yeah to hold that down because yeah. it is nice and windy out here yeah. today we got the trades going for yeah. us and then we're gonna put sugar and i believe this is How a much cup sugar? of sugar okay and then we've got um some um, vanilla extract and that's one teaspoon vanilla extract who, who came up with this recipe did you learn this from grandma you know i did not learn this from grandma i got this from my mom and i'm not sure where mom got it from however it was one of my favorites you know back in the day so uh -huh. i thought I'd bring this back. Okay. Oh, no eggshells. First one crack, egg. right on. Next time you have to do that with one hand. <laughs> That's never going to happen. We're going to have plenty. <laughs> We're going to have crunchy cream cheese yummies if I got to do that with one hand. So when you went to Kamehameha, did you uh, did you attend the football games? Did you know anything about football? <laughs> you know, I knew that the games were going on. I actually uh -huh. did more drama and dancing. Yeah. I was in Kamehameha Dance Theater when I went there. Um, you know, I, I did go to homecoming games and stuff like yeah. that, but yeah, I was I was more the drama arts. Kinda, Do you think you're a football expert now? Um, I wouldn't call myself an expert, but I, I think I know my way around the game. You have a pro I team that you follow? I do not. My son, my youngest, likes the Ravens because his name is Raven. Okay. You know, but, but <laughs> you didn't name your kids after football no, teams. Did you? No, no, right. no. I did not name Just them checking. after football teams. No sports related names <laughs> for my kids. But uh, we do we do enjoy watching. I prefer going. It's a lot yeah. more fun live. All right. So you're just gonna gather all that together. Uh, infused together and, and yeah, that's pretty so much the bulk of it. Up. Huh? Yeah, this is really it. And then once this is all mixed up, we make sure to get all the cookies inside uh -huh. of there. Can you help me with that? Okay. So, so just, wait, we're going to put the cook, we're going to fill each one. You're going to fill each one. Make sure okay. you cover the whole bottom all right. with the cookies. Okay. So that's like your crust right there. So if I don't have these, uh, if well, you don't I, have these, you can use vanilla wafers. They're really easy. Want. Okay. And this is going to be the most, the majority of the filling, I'm assuming. Yeah. That's well, not too much. That's too much. Not too much? Yeah. Remember that Filipino wanted... game with the beans where you go in each one? <laughs> that's what this reminds make me of. Is that, Iman? Can... Is that okay? Yes. Let me make good. sure these cookies are all right. Uh, yeah, just test them. Make sure they're all right. Well, <laughs> nice. Diamond Head, you know, Diamond Head has been around, gosh. I think since the 20s, or, I don't know, been around for forever. Okay, so, so next up, once this is all mixed and nice and smooth, I usually use a mixer because this gives you a heck of an arm workout. Well, that's part of the meal prep. 
<laughs> Come on got, now. Put I'm not, some work I'm not into ambidextrous. It. <laughs> I gotta go my left hand to spread out. What the... does that word mean? <laughs> use, be, I think it means they be able to use kidding. both arms. Right? I know. I, I went to Lanai High School, by the way. <laughs> Come here, man. She's trying to flex on me right now. Aww. All right. We're gonna fill this up. Put it in the oven. What's the oven at? Oven is at 350 All as right. well. For how long? Uh, and I believe it goes in there for about 15 minutes, and then we're gonna bring it out and we're gonna top it with some. Yum. Okay. We'll be right back with Jen Boniza. More with cooking Hawaiian style. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style here with Jen Boniza. We got your chicken divine in the oven yep. for a half an hour at 350. And we got these cream cheese yummies that yes. you're going to fill uh, the pans with cookies. We got the oven yep. at 350 as well. Yes, we and do. How long will we cook this one? We're going to cook this about 15, 20 minutes. You just want the cream cheese mixture here to get a little brown. And uh -huh. then we're going to top it with some fruit afterwards. So okay. Cream we've... cheese, vanilla extract, sugar. Yes, and one egg. And so one you want to kind of fill it. that up a little bit. You you don't want it to Let's be too full. Let's get this on this full. side here so we can see that. Okay. On that All side. All right, I'm gonna go. Yeah. This get, way. So everyone can see that at home there what you're doing, what that looks like. That looks delicious. Yes. So we just got a bunch of cookies from uh, Diamond Diamond Cookie. We just got any cookie, right? Pretty yeah, much you work. can use any kind of cookie you want in there. Maybe not something that's going to melt. I don't yeah. know if you want to use any chocolate kind of cookie. Okay. But any wafer, you know, Nilla wafers, the Diamond Hawaiian cookies are good. Yeah. Just anything kind of crunchy and yummy. Any kind of shortbread cookies. I'm a cookie freak. I, I eat cookies like probably every day. <laughs> and it's pretty bad. Uh, you know, it's pretty bad, but that's okay. All right, by the way, I got the oven at 350. We're just making six, that's by it. the way, three for you. And three for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> what else are we making, Jen? So now we are doing the Chinese chicken salad. And uh, we can start. Well, first of all, we've got our lettuce. We've okay. got manila lettuce and iceberg lettuce in here. Okay. I'm already chopped up for us, so that's good. And then you've got your, um, what do you call, green onion. And you've got your celery here chopped up. And we can just add it to there. Okay. Be easy. And you're gonna you're gonna shred some chicken while I do this. Um, you want me to do the whole thing? Yeah, just dump the whole thing all in there because right. then we're gonna mix it all up. And then today we're gonna make our Chinese chicken salad, or the Oriental dressing. By from scratch. Yeah. All right. From scratch. All right. So we got a couple uh, stalks of celery. Got a couple stalks of green onion. Mm -hmm. and, so uh, that's all in there. Shred some chicken. So the Oriental chicken salad dressing. You've got your shoyu here. We're gonna mix that How in. How much shoyu? Um, I think it's about one, tea, two teaspoons, and that's aloha shoyu, of course. Okay. And then you've got your oil going in, again, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. And then you've got oil. your lemon juice going in, and again, two tablespoons. So All really right. easy to remember. And then you've got your sugar, excuse me, going in there, and again, two tablespoons of sugar. And just so you know, if uh, you're not following along, we'll put this on the website, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. <laughs> and then you've got your two teaspoons of sesame oil going in. Because this is only like the third time you've made this dressing, <laughs> yes. isn't it? Don't be nervous. So I'll then, be the only one tasting yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> so then you just mix this all up. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Yeah, it'll work out good. And if it's really good, we'll get somebody to bottle this dressing for you. <laughs> yeah. The Boniza dressing. I don't know if I'm up for another business venture, but <laughs> we'll, you know, eating it at home and making it for my friends when we got potluck that yeah. way works enough for me. So you got your dressing and everything going there. You also want to make sure that you have your chicken. We prepared it already. And you can also use the canned chicken. Okay. Again, with the easy prep kind of stuff. Um, you know, the white um, white breast, the canned chicken, you can get it at Costco, Safeway, wherever. All right. And this is the fresh chicken breast. We already prepared that, um, just like we did with our chicken okay, divine. Okay, let's, let's get it in there. So yeah, you just kind of put it put it on top and I mean when you go to serve it you want it to kind of look pretty and all on top and uh -huh. then or actually when you take it rather you have it all kind of piled and so then you mix it up what's later interesting on. is this the only thing that makes it Chinese <laughs> or is the chicken from China you know we also have our one ton <laughs> chips uh, yes. that you add on top for the crunch and the flavor and then of course you put your salad dressing on and you mix it all up okay we're usually so we're gonna to mix go. it all up we're gonna take everything out of the oven and then we're gonna eat. So don't go anywhere. Jen Boniza is here right here on Cooking Hawaiian Style.
Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style here with Jen Boniza, and we got the chicken divine just came out of the chicken oven. Divine came We're going to finish up this uh, Chinese chicken salad, mm -hmm. and we got the uh, yummy. Cream cheese yummies yes. right there just came out as well. It's nice and hot. So I'm just going to pour it on like this? Adding the Oriental chicken salad. Yep, you just pour it on there, okay, and then we just kind of mix it all up. You want right. to make sure that everything gets coated. And then, okay. of course, like I said, you can add the um, one-ton chips for some crunch on top. Make it real good. That looks good. Mm -hmm. well, while, while so I do this, this I'm going to plate this because we just have a couple minutes. You're going to uh, finish off those yummies, so right? So that's all ready to go. Okay. And then the cream cheese yummies, the final touch for this is adding your fruits. And you only want to put like maybe one or two little blueberries on there. And these are, you know, the canned can blueberries uh -huh. and it's really nice and sweet and yummy, of oh, course. This looks good. You can use fresh fruit as well, anything you want. You can use raspberries, mango, oh. you know what I mean? Passion fruit, anything to top these While with. While you're talking, I taste this. Oh, yes, definitely, it definitely. Very good. You can smell the curry. Yeah, uh, I love curry, so that's why I always add a little bit extra. The, the uh, croutons are nice and crunchy. Mm hmm. Mm. See that crunch? You can. I can hear you crunching from the croutons. That's mm -hmm. good stuff, isn't it? You can taste the curry, but it's not too much. Mm -hmm, but the you, mayo and the curry go very well together. Yeah, and that's the flavor. The so crunch. Is, I mean, every time you eat something, you want something crunchy. Uh huh. Yeah. Now, okay. Chinese chicken salad. Chinese you gonna chicken plate salad. Some for us? I'll plate that. Are Let you on social media or this. anything? People can follow I you. I am. They can follow me on Instagram at Jen Boniza 808. I'm also on Facebook, Jen mm -hmm. Boniza. Easy to find. And then also you can. See me on OC16, check out OC16's website, OC16.tv, nice. and we've got all of the shows on there. We've got an extensive library mm -hmm. that you can, um, you know, watch any of the shows I do, Hawaiian Extreme Sports, outside Hawaii also. Good job Isn't with the it dressing. Good stuff? Thank you for joining us here. Oh, my pleasure. Flying all the way over <laughs> from Oahu on Lanai. Uh, join us next week. we got some more fun for you. Get all these recipes at cookinghawaiianstyle.com. Mahalo to Jen Boniza and mahalo to you for watching. We'll see you next week. Ahui ho. Ahui ho.